Welcome back, everybody, and with me, as always, is Jack, Spibus, James, Mark, Paul, Coffee, Paul Coffee, that guy. Lewis. Who the hell is this? Um, this is Lewis, and he is our Spanish Shit. friend. Why is he groping himself? Because he had an antidote. And then he dropped it. Whoa, why is she looking like a slut all of a sudden? <laughs> Liam. She looked like that before. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention before. No, you weren't. Also, I tried to turn on a subtitles option and there isn't one, so... That's fine, I doubt he's saying anything important. Okay, I'll just sum it up what he says for you. Oh, I got an antidote. Oh shit, I dropped it. I'll go back and get it. Really? Yeah. And then, I had an antidote, but I... Lost it. I lost oh, it. Fuck you, man. Nothing eventful happened. He just dropped it. Let's just oh, man. Look at that ass. No. <laughs> Liam laughed so hard his sides are splitting. He's holding himself. I thought you said Liam, not Leon. No. See this guy with the gay hair? That's you. What? That's you. Don't worry, though. You got a shotgun. Oh. I know who I'm killing first. Well... Hey, guy, this is called Overkill. <laughs> His head is gone. So, let me catch you up. Shut up. Damn it. Let me catch you up since you weren't, since you were in two, since you were two people last time. Last time, we okay. got to this castle, and then people shot rocks at us, but we avoided them. Then we got here. Rocks? Rock! Dean, dee, 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 twisted sister, rock. William, please, you're making me cry. I like how you shoot him in the head, and then he just stands there. Ow, my eye! Ow, my eye again! Ow, oh, my head is gone. Well, no, I got another one. It's okay, I have another head. No, oh, damn it, there goes my other head. Ow, my eye! Ow, my eye! <laughs> We're so stupid! <laughs> What is this? Oh, my eye! Oh, God! This is terrible! <laughs> oh, stop it! Why did we bring maces to a gunfight? Oh, oh, my head again! What? Don't worry. I'll avenge you, Jerry! You ready? Well, he's reloading! Oh, God. Oh, great. The missus is gonna be horrified when we get home. Isn't that right, Jerry? No, not Jerry! You. Oh, I'm dead too. And they were never seen from again because they're dead and they disappeared into nothing. And that happens when you mm -hmm. lose your second head. <laughs> don't <laughs> lose your head, but if you do, don't lose your second one. Because after the second one, that's it. Yeah, You're not you coming back. No that, you <laughs> did you see that barrel? Hey! hey ah! <laughs> so, how far into the game is this? This is about a third of the way, almost halfway. Yeah. We're pat the game is divided into three Z <laughs> So this is the second part. So really? we're one third of the way done. It's a long ass game. Yeah. But it's that's fine because it's good. Unlike so six. What, happens, what, what happens if you uh cut open that red barrel? Um you'll explode. But you're cutting it. Listen, man, I'd, this I'd, knife I'd He's got a pump I'd, action knife, okay? I'd understand if you shot it, but cutting it? Liam, really? the world of Resident Evil 4 doesn't work, you know, the way the real world does. Hey, hi, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we put that little window there? <laughs> that was super inconvenient, you know. We never should have put made this, like, that building like a makeshift Starbucks. Oh, damn it, my second head forgot to deploy. <laughs> I'll stop him on the little alcove. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Darn! I didn't. I di can't believe his semi-automatic sniping rifle beat my crossbow. Wow! Don't worry, we've got wood shields. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll help. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! I don't need a head. <laughs> oh, you kicked <laughs> me in my non head. <laughs> <laughs> you kicked me in my lack of a chin. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just, she's so useless. I know. Ah, I don't want to grab you like the other guy. <laughs> He's like, ah, too much effort. I give up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 
Let me just cock my gun. Huh. So, the room coming up it can kind of be a pain in the ass because there, once there's a key in there and once you get it, there are a bunch of guys are going to swarm at you. So you've got to... But if you can time it properly, you can stop them from doing that. See that well-placed surprised barrel? The surprise barrel? Yes. Of course. It's full of excitement and surprises. Oh, so Maybe it's just like a panada. Can... Come here, damn it! <laughs> she's so she's so stupid. Slutters. So that's why I'm taking things relatively slow and being like, all right. Taking it, taking it, taking it, taking it, taking it. Please stop referencing that. Taking it, taking it. Please stop. I can't. I can't. You just sound. I keep it, thinking you're gonna finish. It had nothing that. to do with Resident Evil I'm, at all. Listen, man. How long have you known me? That should not be a surprise to you <laughs> that everything I do is a non sequitur to everything else in the universe. Ooh, velvet blue. That's a treasure that we can sell. Why did someone? <laughs> this key is floating. Wow, you just aimed a gun at her head, and she's just dying. I, I hope you're gonna be okay. I'm gonna put my pistol right through your face yeah at, at that point would you at this point would you trust someone to do that I mean, oh. yeah that's how you do it surprise barrel that, ah my eye again god we're so bad at this oh he kicked me and now i'm dead <laughs> i feel like that's <laughs> I'm... The, the most efficient way to kill people in this game just run up to them while they're stunned and kick them that is a good option because you don't have you waste less bullets and what I was trying to do was knife him while he was on the ground to conserve more bullets, but he was his the, his he was on an incline. So Liam, yeah, fuck, I can call him Liam. So Leon <laughs> couldn't reach him. Damn it, Liam! Why can't you knife things while they're on an incline? I don't know. You're sitting there knifing down. I can't reach. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I, like, I keep cutting, but it's not a knife. <laughs> That's you when you're trying to commit suicide. My wrist is too far away. <laughs> Why does my arm have to be at such an odd angle? <laughs> like, you're Mr. Fantastic and your limbs are self-aware, so they just keep extending away from you. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> but now that we got the key, Ton. we can go through this door. Ton. And that's all I have to say about that. And that's all I have to say about that. Shut up. This, so now we're really actually in the castle. The other, the portion before was just sort of outside of the castle. Damn, they got me all excited thinking that you were already in the castle. Nope, now, no. Nope. So where's Wesker? Um, he's, okay, well, on a serious note, because this game is so serious, Wesker is not in the main campaign, but he is in this game. He has a presence. He's in a side campaign, and he's actually a playable character in a different mode. Oh, cool. Which I might show off later, possibly. And in that minigame... This is Salazar. The e e Salazar Slytherin? No thanks, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he is, um... This game sort of like... The game sort of has three antagonists for each of the different sections of the game. And, like... We saw Sadler in the church. Well, you may not have seen it, but like the third antagonist is like the overall antagonist. But Salazar is the <coughs> antagonist of the second place, whereas the chief that we beat before is antagonist for the village. Also, so what? We'll is he a midget or just? Yeah, a he's got a Napoleon complex because he's Napoleon. Oh, I get it. Also, him and Leon have excellent banter with each other. I mean, it's just great. Salazar and Leon, or Leon and Slutters. Le Leo, you, you and the Napoleon guy. Okay. You and the midget. You have great banner together. I look forward to it. I'm also, this bad. knife can cut vases. <clears throat> yeah, that's a little weird, don't you think? So, couldn't you just Can't pick it up cut and throw on, it? On an incline, but vases. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh yeah, the door, of course. Ah yes, my convenient Zelda door. But this one's got three keys, and they're in the shape of evil animal crackers. <laughs> Listen, I already put Spear Guy in there for you, so you got one. Now you just gotta find the Hell Beast. 
the what? chimera. Yeah, that. <laughs> no, that's the manticore, sorry. Thanks, I get my, mythology man. I get my mythological cre my non-existent creatures mixed up. It's a good thing I have you. I, can, I think that's a chimera. It's a chimera? Uh, yeah. Well, it's a good thing I have you for the uh, useless mythology information, so thank you for that. It was the dawn of time, and there were two people, and they were like, Yo, Doggle Dig, we gotta do stuff. And he's like, Wanna get a Big Mech? And they were good. Liam, I didn't know you knew the book of Genesis that well. <laughs> Off by heart, man. Every word. In the beginning, <laughs> the end. <laughs> we got a purple gem. Because Yay. we're just hanging up there. Salazar's like, He'll never find it here. It's a Zelda puzzle. Someone to put it. my jewels up on top of this roof. He is a faggot. Yeah, he is pretty lame. One thing that is nice about Ashley, though, is that you can only kill her when you're really trying to. You can't accidentally hit her with your knife. Can you knife her? Oh. I mean, no, you can <laughs> knife her, I think, if you, like, set her away somewhere. But, um... What? Yeah, you can knife her if you want to, but if Will you're not... Will she die? Yes, you can. There is friendly fire. But oh. she'll, like, move out of the way from you if you're just trying to hit an enemy. Like, see how she sort of electric slides behind you every time you knife? Yeah. Like, as, she kn as if she knew the moonwalk. <laughs> Daughter of Michael Jackson. I see. Oh, nope. And so with less trauma. She, I, she should still be programmed like Elizabeth in Bioshock Infinite. Where she is in no way a hindrance at all. She, uh, she's not really a hindrance... If you can kill her, she's a hindrance. Well, yeah, but at the same time, you gotta think, Bioshock Infinite is a first-person shooter full full with way too much over-the-top action. In this game, okay. which I liked, there was a lot of action, but I liked it. Um, but whereas this game is a survival horror game, and the point is to build tension, so the fact that you have an, an extra character that means, you know, that you've gotta take care of, it's sort of like, well, and keep safe, that sort of, that adds to the tension. You see, where is that? I don't know, it just seems, it, it just seems like the shittiest escort quest I've ever seen. No, it's really not. That's called the Golden Eye thing. <laughs> okay. Listen, you gotta think, because of this game, in the old Resident Evils, which you played for like five seconds, you move like shit. Yeah. The biggest worry is you taking care of yourself, because you're fucked. If you don't yeah, know if how you to have to take care of someone else and yourself, you go, You couldn't possibly. No, it'd be stupid. The thing is, with this game, you have more mobility. The controls are essentially still the same. <laughs> it's what? locked. What a sturdy door. That is also locked. And now it's not locked. Well, that door wasn't as sturdy as I thought. Wait. <laughs> Damn it. But with this game, it's like, you're more, you have more mobility and you can do a lot more. You're more able. You can kick things asses. So I think oh, I was going to say you could kick things and knife them. And that. Also, leave Ashley there because you do not want her to come down here because of the thing you're about to fight in here because it's just a bad idea. This is going to be a manticore. No, it is not going to be a manticore. You do not fight a manticore in this game, whatever that is. You do fight I'm that bell, though. Either. No, you don't fight the bell. Hell's bells. But you are going to use that. No, that'd be you cool. You got me ringing. Oh. We're going to fight that. He That's a manticore. No, it isn't. How do you know? Because it's called a Garado. Oh, the Garado. Is that like one of those Zelda things? No, it's actually, think Wolverine mixed with Satan. Dude, that's a motherfucking Manticore. Oh, okay. Well, the thing is, this is the Garado, or Garado, or however, however you want to say it. And he is blind. Okay. But he has very super sensitive hearing. So anytime you try to you make take a shot or run, he'll hear you and he'll come oh, charging at you. Oh, he's also an alien. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's a xenomorph also. He's got one. He's got a face hugger on his back. The face hugger missed and accidentally latched to his back. Apparently, so he doesn't get a second head. He just gets two backs. Yeah, he does. Which is kind of redundant. But yeah, there's a certain way to fight this guy. You sh so now you're out of bells. Yeah, I'm out of bells. But that doesn't. Tom Nook is gonna be pissed. 
Yeah! That would be funnier if I played more Animal Crossing. What did I just shoot it? I just shot at nothing. But, even though you have no bells, there's still a way to beat him. You see, he can hear you when you shoot and when you run, but he doesn't hear you when you walk. Oh, really? So, if you just walk around... He'll just run around aimlessly? No, he won't run around. He'll try to, like, hear you, hear you, hear you out. And so he'll just start walking around. And so if you easily walk around him and don't do what I'm doing right now... Don't worry, wow, I figured... you are just taking it. Taking it, taking it. Aim's a snot! But yeah. Oh. I, 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 how many times have I said, but yeah, in this fucking LP? Like, I must really love butts, goddammit. Holy shit. <laughs> I, mix Master, whatever your name is, you can fuck off. I am the king of butts. But yeah! So. <laughs> <laughs> we. You've gotta not run, is the thing. You're so used to. The game gets you used to running away from things, so you'll, you won't think about that. See, look at him. He's creeping. He has retractable claws. He's creeping. I smell fruity hair. Chest. Would you please stop? I can't. Those blades are so fucking long. That's really cool. It is pretty cool. Creepy. There's is a. Well, maybe I'll show. There's is a. <laughs> <laughs> There's is a. There is a death. Sweet. There's a pretty cool death animation for if you're in the right spot. If you're about to die when he's charging at you, he'll just slam his claws right through your head. So. How impossible would this be with Ashley? Um, it wouldn't be impossible, because she'll walk when you walk, but it would just be more annoying, because then you've got, there's an extra thing that can get hit in the room with you. See, that wouldn't happen with Elizabeth. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't give a fuck about Elizabeth and Bioshock Infinite's pretentious are ass you story. Are you trying to tell me you give a shit about Ashley? No, I don't, but shut up. <laughs> that's, that's my argument. <laughs> Why do you? Shut up. You didn't even beat Bioshock Infinite. Why are you suddenly all up in its butt? Hurt? I'm not. It's just it's comparable to this game. S not. No. I mean, so sort of, but not really. In the fact that guy was doing a loop. Yeah. <laughs> he was doing a spin. In in the fact that it's a, they're both escort quests, it's comparable. Yeah, but they're not the same. No, because this is survival horror. The other one's action shooter. Yes, exactly. You just. I think this. I think the scariest part about this is that they found the antidote, but he lost it. Yeah, it was in his other pants pocket, like Piccolo. Stupid Piccolo Piccolo. was in his other pants pocket. No, but the the radar was. What? The radar of the Lost Ark. Oh hell. <laughs> this fight can take a take a while if you're doing it the patient way. You could probably go I see that. Board. What's the not patient way? Um, dying. Pretty sure oh. there's no really, no other really good way to do this. Unless you there's have no like, fast way to do this. Unless unless you've got like a lot of grenades. No, not really. Unless you've got some sort of super weapon that'll just demolish him. Bang bang. I think if you use a flash grenade, a thing that actually allows him to see you. So I think that's a really. I think, actually, yeah, so that's probably a very bad idea to use in this fight. Although, I don't remember exactly. I'm pretty sure that's what happens, though. But he's dead. Oh my God. Jesus. Is there ever, are those going to be like a dark night where you're going to have to fight like four at once? Yep. Really? I'm, I'm, I'm serious, yeah. There's a really terrible part where there's like two of them in an enclosed space. Shit. Yeah, it's bad. First time I did that, I just bought a rocket launcher and just shot them both and fucking killed them at once because, like, kiss my ass. But I will probably not do that this time. Is that in the third part? Um, no, that's in the ca the castle is actually pretty long. Hey, come here, come here. Lo longer than the first part of I'm not really sure what it was called. The outside Mex Mexico part. <laughs> We're in Europe, Liam. I mean, the outside Spain part. Yeah, well, actually, yeah, probably. Where the fuck are we? Well, I'll tell you where we're not. Mexico. Where? <laughs> Thank you for that. Just had to clarify. Also, we're in a castle. I just thought that it was Mexico because these Spaniards. Aim a... 
<laughs> that didn't make any sense. <laughs> Can you shoot dynamite out of people's hands in Bioshock Infinite? Actually, I believe you can. Well, that will. No. Wait a minute. No, you can't. Can't you? Did you beat it? No. Then how would you know? I just. All I did was kill presidents that were, happened to be robots. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty They funny. were bitches, too. They were. Oh, like, hey, how whoa. you doing? <laughs> See? He was just having a laugh. <laughs> He's like, what, you're a funny joke? <laughs> no, stop. Stop, stop it. I'm bleeding. Oh. And there he goes. Oh, he dropped some weed. Thank you. <laughs> we'll get real Stupid. high. And Ashley isn't completely useless. She will do some things later on that are actually pretty helpful. With his penis out. He's, He's one won. cool cock. <laughs> also, we're about to go into what is probably the shittiest room in the entire game. I mean, it's bad. 